Welcome back students and YouTubers. This is Darby and today we're going to do David Hockney style photography. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to a file and then automate and then down to photo margin. Now this is uh, fairly straightforward. There's a lot of creativity uh, and you shouldn't get too hung up on the technical side of the Photoshop. If you've been stuck in the past, this is fairly straightforward. There are a few tips I do want to tell you. I'll tell you those shortly. Uh, first, click collage. Make sure that it's blend images together. Go to browse. And then I'm going to hit Command A on a Mac to can select all my images. I only have 10. I hit open. And then I'm going to hit OK. And so while this compiles, I just want to let you know you should take, I'd say, between 10 plus photos. Uh, manual focus is, some, is something you might want to make sure you're in. Also, try to do exposure exposure lock. Excuse me. Um, that way, you don't have dark areas and light areas depending on the photo. Uh, another thing is you want to make sure whatever your subject is, it's in the photo. The you know part of it's in the photo, and so sometimes you can get something that looks like a giant photo like this, and then sometimes you can get some really like elongated ones is really interesting this clear layer that it adds on there so anywho so moving on so what I want to do here um, first thing and basically do the same thing with all the layers here so I'm gonna go to image uh, layer sorry edits and then we're gonna go to stroke and up pops the stroke box and I have this selected at 20. It could start at 10 and maybe go a little thicker depending on your needs. And I also have white. Um, and that, could, of course, could be anyone. And I'm going to hit inside. And I'm just going to hit OK. And so we have our white border. And there we go. So also, I'm going to double click. Or two finger click on the Mac and hit that blend options. And then up will pop the layer style box. And this you can mess around with, see what you like. Uh, I've kind of said I, I really like uh, the drop shadow. And, um, and that's kind of what I've kind of liked. So I'm going to hit OK. And then so now we're going to have this drop shadow. And then I'll go right there. Let's click on that one. I'm going to add a blending options. It doesn't really matter which way you go. I'm going to do drop shadow. Um, I'll crank this up to 100. Go all the way. And then I'm going to go to edit stroke and do OK. And so now we have that. And I'm just going to keep, sorry, building and building and building. I'm just going to speed this up so you guys don't have to see me do all this repetitiveness. All right, so let's see here. Seem to be up where finished. And so we need to fill in these clear, transparent areas, or I guess we don't have to. So we could, down here in the bottom, pull this down. Um, darn it, Command Z, drop that below. So that's on the bottom, and then I'm going to go to Edit, Fill, and up pop up box, and I can just hit OK. And so now I have this very off white background here. Uh, if you didn't want to do that, you could do Fill, and then we could do Color. And then I could pick like black or gray or whatever. And there you go. And that kind of looks nice actually. So I'm going to leave that there. Uh, moving on. Or you could pick a color from here and then use it as a background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically grab, shut off the eyes here and figure out where they're at. I will grab uh, so what I really like. We have this uh, selection tool, and it says that this one right here. Okay, so I'm going to grab this and pull this up. 
that click and hold and pull it to the top. So there we go. It's on the top. And I kind of like that. And then I'm actually going to make it large. I'm going to hold the shift button. Yeah. I'm going to take that and I'm going to slide it over here. And right now I'm just trying to play with it artistically. Uh, hit enter. And then I'm going to grab this. Take this. And actually, I'm going to add a little bit of. Maybe. Hit enter. I'm going to take the one on the top. Inner. And basically, more or less, that's what you're going to end up doing. Um, so then we hit in. We're going to go to magnifying glass and fit on screen. Oh, well, let's zoom out a bit. And we'll just see how it goes. And, you know, you might want to start working from this distance instead of up close. When you're all done, which this isn't, but let's just say we are. Layer, flatten, and it's going to flatten everything. And then you're going to go File, Save As, and then for my class, you want to make sure it's a JPEG. Uh, don't forget to uh, title it. Thanks for tuning in, ever, in, everyone. If you guys have any questions, uh, have any comments, like, subscribe. Uh, shoot me out a picture that you've done. I'd love to see what you've done with it. Uh, if you're not one of my students and you're on uh, YouTube, I'd love you guys to shoot me out a link or um, just send me a photo. That'd be great. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you.